Hi, I'm Deacon Jimmy Gilioni. And I'm Aaron Emig. And uh, this week we're uh, celebrating the solemnity of uh, Saints Peter and Paul, uh, which is great because uh, you can see them in the background. We're at St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church. And uh, our question for the week is, is what we receive at communion really Jesus? Or is it just a symbol? All right. And then this week's gospel comes from Matthew chapter 16. If only St. Peter was on Facebook, you know, he would have had all kinds of Facebook friends and followers, people from all over the world. They could have seen pictures of him preaching and teaching and all of those things. He'd have probably had pictures of Jesus. You know, if only St. Paul would have had tw a Twitter account, he would have had followers from everywhere around the world. He could have communicated with the Philippians and the Galatians and the Corinthians and all of those, of course, in 140 characters or less. But Peter didn't have Facebook. Paul didn't have a Twitter account. As a matter of fact, they didn't even have electricity. Some young people today find that hard to believe, you know. But still, they knew how to get out the message. They knew how to spread the gospel message. And Peter and Paul... They, they had a communication system that was more powerful than Facebook or Twitter, the internet, anything else that's created by mankind. Mm -hmm. And what was it? They had the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was the force that, that worked through them and in them and with them and, and continues to work through all Christians today to convert the world, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ, to spread that gospel message. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it begins with the Holy Spirit and that face-to-face -face conversation. That's the best way to communicate, obviously. And uh, this gospel, again, is uh, one of the reasons why we started Transformation Tuesdays because it comes from that Jesus Question CD by Matthew Kelly. And Jesus asks us two questions. You know, he, he asked the, his apostles and disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they got all these, you know, prophets and all these other words. But then he asked, who do you say that I am? And Peter quickly responded and said, you are the Christ. You know, you are the Son of Man. And at this point, our Catholic Church was founded by Jesus. And then he told Peter that upon this rock, I will build my church. How about a rock for your solid foundation? You know, so in 33 AD, the Catholic Church was founded and uh, St. Peter became our first Pope. So have you ever asked anyone who belongs to a Protestant church? I've asked this question a few times. Who built your church and when? And you ever ask them, what are they protesting about? It's The response is you'll notice. You'll, they don't have an answer for you to, either of them. And it makes them kind of seem foolish in a professional man. Well, certainly Peter and Paul, they gave witness to Jesus Christ with their words, with their deeds, with their lives, and really even with their deaths. The power that Peter and Paul had to spread the gospel, that same power has been given to each one of us, to all of us, not just me and Aaron, all of us. We've all received the Holy Spirit through baptism, through the sacrament of confirmation. And we should strive each day to be faithful and faith-filled disciples of Jesus, to be open to growing each day as the disciples. And then by the way that we live our lives, to make disciples of other people, mm -hmm. to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Peter and Paul, they didn't have Facebook or Twitter. They didn't need it. You know, all those things may be helpful, this podcast for us and Facebook and the way that we get the message out. All of those are great things, but they don't need to be the tools that we go to right away. We have what they had. We have the Holy Spirit. And we pray today that through the intercession of those two great saints of our church, the patron saints of our parish here, Peter and Paul, that we might have the determination and we might have the courage to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ by all that we say, but most importantly, by all that we do. And that like Peter and Paul, using our God-given gifts, we will answer the call of being, growing, and making disciples for yeah, Jesus. Just yeah, just like Deacon Jimmy said, you know, when I prepare for this, I ask the Holy Spirit of what I need to proclaim out there. And, you know, you know, as Jesus, you know, founded the Catholic Church, you know, Catholic actually means universal. And then Peter means rock. So 
our Catholic faith was built upon a rock, not sand, not gravel, for everyone in the world. Everyone. So we need to spread our faith to others who are not Catholic, you know, or have no religion in their in their lives. Because their churches were all those other churches out there, Christian churches, were founded by human beings at certain points of time because they were protesting against the Catholic Church. And we need to be proud that Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, created our Catholic faith. Yes, it will be un uncomfortable at first spreading that word and so forth, but the more you do it, the easier it will become. And along with the help of and guidance of the Holy Spirit, that's, all, that's the winning formula. So the wisdom words of the week are, and so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of, have, of the netherworld shall not prevail against you. Matthew 16, verse 18. And uh, we have a new uh, transformation tool. Is a, this is called the a CD, A Quick Introduction to the Bible by Matthew Kelly. Have, have, think about this. Have you ever wondered how to actually read the Bible? Because in my experience of Catholic education, I don't remember being taught that. Because it's quite overwhelming. There's books within books and chapters within chapters. It's, it's quite overwhelming. But Matthew Kelly gave you this simple game plan on how to read the Bible. And I think we should be teaching that in our schools, you know, because I never learned it in 12 years. So, uh, so we're giving out those free copies over at Morris Hall every Tuesday at 2.10 p.m. And we always end with our, our Transformation uh, Tuesday's prayer. Jesus, how do you want me to transform my life today? God bless you all from St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church, a spiritual home for everyone, where we are being, growing, and making disciples.